Good afternoon, William Jason Hilliard speaking. Today I would like to do a video on the seven trumpets. Hopefully in this video I'll be able to cover three or four of those trumpets. Um, trumpets are generally used um, to send a message or to call for war and such. Um, so the seven trumpets, um, the first one's blown in chapter 8. The last one is blown in chapter 11, I believe. So verse 7, the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And there were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees was burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Well, in this verse, hail signifies Peter going out and spreading the gospel that he received from Jesus. Um, Jesus is the living water. Um, through his words, and this shows shortly after the resurrection, because now it's hell. He sits at the right hand of God, Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach. And here you see the next thing it says, and fire mingled with blood. So there's another message going out here, and that fire we know from our previous video hones in on Paul, Saul. And in this verse, in this situation, it's Saul. Because it's mingled with blood. This is him persecuting the way. Um, this The way is the movement that Jesus taught the disciples and the followers uh, the good news of the kingdom that's coming. To spread that message out to the Jews and to the Gentiles in the whole world. So, um, let's see here. And it says, um, third part of the trees were burned up. So a third of the disciples were killed in this um, persecution. And it says all the green grass was burned up. So all the Jewish followers were killed along the way um, by Saul and his armies. And we can see that a little bit in the book of Acts where Saul went to the Jews first. Um, called Saul was a hireling shepherd in both cases here. Before I go on that, we'll go to the second angel here. It says here, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire, was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Well, here the clues are, as it were a great mountain. So Yahweh has two mountains, Yahweh. And this is, as it were, a great mountain. So this is an imitation of false mountain. And the clue here again is with fire. So that's leading us back to the message of the first angel. Where the fire mingled with blood is Saul. So this is a, a, a moving forward for Saul. In a sense where he changes his name to Paul. But it says again, as it were. So he's an imitation a false Christ, an Antichrist. So you see here, um, as it was a great mountain burning with fire, was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. So this is telling us him moving out, spreading his, his message, his doctrine. Um, as we know, he started that movement up in Antioch and moved out from there to Turkey and around the Mediterranean, around that sea, and winded up in Rome, Italy, and and such. Um, and it says, sea became blood. And it says, and a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. So here you have two messages going out. The one by Peter and f that was given to him from Jesus, given to the twelve disciples, and the followers, that message is going out, and that message is from the beginning, from the beginning of time, but even before Abram, Abraham. So that message is going out, and you got this perverted message going out from Paul. Um, and what it says here, and those that had life died. So, you know, here we're kind of looking like Christians. There's two forms of Christianity here. Um, this is the true one, the one of light that Jesus is saying here that they were even persecuted. 
amongst the Gentiles. Um, because it says a third of the ships were destroyed. So there's Gentiles carrying out Jesus' messages and putting it in writings and stuff. Even they were persecuted along the way. Okay. Um, so again, let's move on to the third angel here. Verse 10. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many died of the waters because they were made bitter. Now this third angel, it says it fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. So again, as it were a lamp. So it's an imitation and we see we see a pattern here building up and we know Saul Paul and these are the writings of Paul because it's as were a lamp um imitating Jesus's messages going out there like a lamp it's an imitation so there's two messages one's true one one's false and we know that too by um the lampstand in the church of Ephesus when Jesus said he'll take that lamb stamp away from you if you don't repent. And we see that today, Eva, when the Jews, they don't carry the words of Jesus in their book. Um, and it says here, as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the waters. So if we look at this book here, his, um, Paul's message, which is an imitation, landed in these books because the Roman government uh, got the people together, put these books together, and Paul's writings landed amongst the rivers, which are um, the Gospels of Jesus, and amongst the waters. Because remember, Paul writes two thirds of the New Testament. And the other third by Jesus' Gospels and the writings of his followers, John, James, and Peter. So that information fell in between those two. And that's why it says here later, it says, um, The star was called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. So these writings fell between those, those writings. And it says here, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So remember in my previous videos, um, death depicts, um, comes from Saul and Paul and his false writings and stuff. So this information is, in a sense, bleeding out, like poison bleeding out into good water. Or uh, an example like Exxon Valdez, when it 